I spent the better part of this past weekend trying to make a model that had raised lettering above a relief background. I wanted uh, as clean as possible sharp edges of the text and that the, they appear to rise, or hopefully would appear to rise out of the uh, texture uh, a fair bit. So, um, did run into some things, wanted to report them and uh, so bear with me, I'm going to create a model here. I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm not going to use text because uh, just try to keep it simple. Um, also try to keep it such that uh, you know it you, it's easily reproducible. I'll create a rectangle of four inches by four inches, and I'll center that. And I'm going to divot one of the corners so that it isn't not just a simple rectangle. So here we are. I will center this fellow and go into uh, node editing. I'll add a node uh, down here, and with Alt click move the corner over so that it is it has at least some uh, interest to it. So th there's my uh, uh, rectangle. Again it's four inches square uh, plus that corner. And what I'll do now is to um, offset this vector an eighth inch inwardly twice. And that uh, is to simulate a, a letter that has a wall thickness of two times the eighth inch or a quarter inch uh, a rise. So we've got that now. I'll go over to the relief area. I'll bring in uh, just a, a texture. It happens to be brick wall, but uh, I, the results uh, won't change much depending on the, the relief that I chose. And uh, what I'll do is I'll center this also on the uh, on the model. So we've got that. I'll go over to, I'm going to edit and paste, and now I've got this brick texture surrounding uh, this pseudo letter. Uh, the next thing I'll do is to create a tool path, and uh, I'm going to be do using the, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit here, I'm going to use the uh, outside of the um, texture, the relief. The next line will be the outer line and then the inner line. So those are my three vectors that I'm going to use to capture the, uh, the cutting that takes place. So I'll go into a 3D tool path, uh, tell it to use the selected vectors and I want it inside the vector. So what it should do is cut away um, down to the texture, everything here and inside of the in innermost uh, line or vector. For the first go round, I'm going to use a, for finishing a ball nose, eighth inch, and for uh, the roughing, I'll use an eighth inch end mill. Uh, this yields the best uh, uh, quality that I've seen but still it has some uh, uh, pretty severe problems. So anyway, so I'll select that. Uh, not setting anything else at this point. I'll go ahead and calculate this relief and simulate it and we'll be able to see the initial results. So here we are. It's calculated. I'll close this window and uh, simulate the toolpath and uh, with any luck, we'll have this done. So there we are. We have the uh, 3D. And fundamentally, I mean, you look at it and you say, hey, that looks good. You know, I'm going to view it from the top. And there we are. However, if I display the vectors, the original vectors, uh, the important thing to note here is that the cutting, if you look, for example, at this corner, the cutting is it does not stay inside the selected vectors. In fact, it pushes quite a bit into the region that I wanted to protect. And the same is true out here on the outside as well. If you look at this, it is cut beyond the edge of the, uh, the relief, which is 
from a lettering point of view is quite damaging to the lettering. Now this, believe it or not, this is the good case. What I'm going to do is go now back into the tool paths. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to edit the relief that I created. And instead of using an eighth inch end mill, I'm going to use a quarter inch end mill. I'll select that, recalculate, and this is where the results get uh, kind of funky and, and was driving me kind of crazy over the weekend. I did not come up with a suitable solution to my problem. So, all right, so I've calculated, I'll delete the simulation, rerun it, and you'll see the results. Okay, simulation, believe it or not, simulation is done. Okay, here's what's left. Oh, no, not quite done yet. There we are. Okay, good. This is what's left of the part. It did the roughing and left a low ridge down below. There's a little bit of the edge left here at the bottom, but certainly not correct. Uh, the rest of it are just these jaggy little peaks. I'll bring back the vectors, and you can see again it has still cut dramatically inside of the the you know it it is intruded into the area that um, it should not be cutting. So in effect, I don't have a way using 3D uh, tool paths to have clean lettering rising out of a given relief. I hope you're able to help me, and thank.